take that, Mr. Slime Lord. I got my puppets. I've got my staff. I can beat you this time. Oh! Oh, I got you now. There's no stopping us this time. I'm gonna nail you to the wall, Mr. T oh, yeah, dang it. I'm just not good enough at this game. Maybe I should just quit. Now hold on, Billy. What the? If you're having trouble with the slime boss, you need... I need you to get the f*** out of my room is what I need. Oh, no. You need copper chests. Ah, oh, sweet a gat. Now you can loot, loot, loot your way to a better boss fight. Satisfaction guaranteed. Satisfaction not guaranteed. In all seriousness, folks, if you're having trouble defeating King Slime, what you need is to open up your copper chests. Now, you'll pick these up along the way as you're mining. They'll just pop up out of nowhere. You can't open them until you at least get to the iron level where you got the iron workbench and a few other things. And then you'll be able to make the key casting table. And from there, you can cast a copper key and open them up. When you open them up, you're very likely to find one of the rifles. And the rifles do a tremendous amount of damage, which will help you with King Slime. I'm going to go over the slime fight today. This also applies to the first boss fight that you have, the first slime guy that you fight, the orange one, except obviously King Slime has more health, does a lot more damage, and also makes a couple of blue slimes that pop up here and there. And when they hit you, they slow you down. So one of the things that you're going to want to make sure you do is you're going to have to put on the raincoat attire that they have. You can make this very early on. It's not that big of an armor difference. I recommend it for both fights because if you slow down, on the slime blotches that are on the floor it's just pretty terrible it's really actually going to be a nightmare for you so put the raincoat gear on you need the coat and the pants that's it and then you'll be running around like it's no slime on the floor whatsoever no slime at all so if you feel like you were slime in your head let me show you what we're going to do i'll bring you down to that boss fight and we'll walk through it all right make sure you have all your trinkets all your summons your pet the correct armor and then Make your summons, pop them out early, get them out. We only got three. It's not a big deal. And this is relatively early on, so you can handle this. All right. And then you're just going to circle around him and make sure that you keep out of his range. Always be moving away from him. Don't try to cut in front of him. He does make that big leap. He's also going to do these blue summons. You notice when I get hit by these blue summons enough, it is going to slow me down and it's going to cause problems. But as long as you do this kind of circle strafing method, you'll be fine. Don't worry about the orange round slimes. The little spiky slimes are pretty easy to deal with if you're not, uh, if you're armored up, excuse me. And everything else you can pretty much handle. So the big thing is you don't want this guy to get on top of you or this will happen. If it does happen, take a break for a second. Pull that pause menu up so that you can just reevaluate what you're doing with your life and once you're ready, just pop back on in and teleport back down to the big boy. You'll notice that his health when we get to him is going to be almost exactly where we left it. Maybe a little bit higher. He is still in his enraged mode. So you're going to need to keep away from him. I'm going to let the entire rest of the fight play out. I think just to kind of prove that uh, I did come back and kill him. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Why would I waste your time? What you really need for this fight is that rifle. It takes a long time to kill him if you don't have the rifle. Even if you have iron weapons, I find it takes a long time. But you don't need a lot of fancy armor. You don't need a lot of fancy foods. Just get yourself the rifle by looting copper chests. I got two from six copper chests. So you guaranteed to get at least one if you get about five to ten copper chests. Makes the fight super easy. The same is true of the original boss fight with the orange guy. Super easy to take down. You just keep circling around him, circling around him, doing damage. This fight is one of the easiest ones to do. Hopefully that helps you out. You don't need anything, anything special for this. Nothing else I can really tell you. So enjoy, have fun, like and subscribe. And don't forget YouTube, you're up.